Good morning, folks. It's a nice Saturday morning, and I'm trying a new blend. But first of all, I want to pay a compliment to a, a business. I'm quite happy when things go wrong to sort things out with the businesses themselves and comment where necessary. But it's very rarely that I give a business credit for a job well done. And I want to just do that for the Edinburgh Pipe Shop, or the Pipe Shop Edinburgh, as it's called, where I got this blend from, which is called Radford's Mixture. It used to be um, referred to as um, Super Sobrani Blue Reserve. The service of Pipe Shop Edinburgh was above and beyond. I ordered this yesterday and it arrived this morning. Now, there was a little problem yesterday with the order. I don't want to say what it was, but the firm immediately rang me up, told me about it, told me what they were going to do to correct it and then told me that they would also put a little thank you into the act just to recognise that there'd been a problem and that I consider being above and beyond the call of duty. It's often with firms that you sort of think, oh, not like the old days. I remember when I was a young man, businesses knew how to treat their customers. Well, the Edinburgh Pipe Shop know how to treat their customers. And I recommend them. Because they know the, they know their trade they know their subject and they know their customers. Anyway, enough of that. We don't want to go over the top. Bradford's mixture. Most of you know that since I started smoking a pipe about two, three, four years ago, I've always stalked that tobacco that I used to know in the past, which was proper Sobrani tobacco. I've only ever come across it once, and that was at the pipe show in Nottingham, when the beloved tree happened to pick up an unopened tin of Sobrani and the good man himself shared it with us at the pipe show and as soon as I lit it oh exceptional smoke now I know that I'm not going to find that smoke ever again unless it's in that way that it's the original and there are several Sobrani copies around these days or several brands that try and come up to that Sobrani none do not even Radford's mixture that used to be called Sobrani blue none do because my tastes changed my smells changed, and I mean my sense of smell as much as 
any other smell. <coughs> so I can't hope to recreate that um, mystery of what made Sobrani one of the best smokes in the world. But I can say about this is it's good smoke. It's not a heavy smoke in the sense of Latakia. Now I can't tell how much nicotine's in a blend because it never has an effect on me. Although, having said that, um, I have been kicked in the arse by tobaccos, mainly when I haven't had any breakfast and it's been a very, very strong blend. The one that did it for me was rustic. I'd been smoking it all day and it caught up with me. But this is a nice what I would call everyday smoke, a relaxing smoke. It's got a lovely rum note. It's a mixture of Burley, Kentucky, Orientals and Virginia. Now, as I say, my taste and my smell is not what it was, so I can't always pick out those individual tobaccos. I can say that there are tobaccos I like, like Oriental blends, um, like Burley, and like um, Kentucky. And I know when I'm smoking a blend with those in because it appeals to me, but I can't distinguish exactly what it is. It's one of the problems of getting old and having a misspent youth. But anyway, to go on. They say the casing is a si single malt with walnut and blossoms. Now I particularly love single malts. And I'm getting better at choosing a good single malt. Not the rubbish that you get at the supermarkets, but a good independent bottled single malt. Um, I can't taste single malt in here. I think I can get something of the nuttiness and I can get something of the comfortableness of the smoke. It really is a, a nice, comfortable tobacco to smoke. I'm smoking in my gold Meerschaum cob because that's the one that I test tobaccos in. And I'm really enjoying it. Now I hope things are going well with you all. You can see from the bookshelf behind me that, or from the shelves behind me, that we're gradually getting through stuff and packing it ready for the move. When that will take place, I don't know. I'm hoping September time. But it might even be up to Christmas from what we've been told. Part of the problem is that they <coughs> need to get the build need to get the apartment disabled friendly and they're bending over backwards to do that and I don't think it's as easy to get the workmen to be able to do the work involved everybody's so busy um, they used to have their own workmen doing it but like most 
businesses and they outsourced this to to various tried various ways of outsourcing it and it hasn't really worked for them so I'm hoping that things move along fairly fast and we get moved in because it's a, a could be a wonderful apartment for us I'll even have my own man's den um, although I often think I haven't grown up as I should do or I'm reaching my second childhood but never mind one of the things I'm looking forward to is to being with the children and joining Tim on one of his expo um, on one of his expeditions to the pipe shop that he belongs to that they have evenings where they um, smoke a chosen cigar and various drinks that go with it and maybe have somebody from the cigar company to talk to I'm not sure Carolyn, my wife's um, going to be pleased at my foray into cigars I don't know whether she realises I've got one or two cigars that I smoke occasionally. I've also got some snuff, which is definitely a no-no. And I can't blame her for that, because she once had to look after somebody who, who used snuff, but also blew his nose into a handkerchief, which she had to wash them by hand, which can't have been a pleasant job. Anyway, I shall stop there because otherwise I'm just going to ramble on and you're going to get absolutely sick of me rambling on. May you be richly blessed. May you be aware of just how unique you are and may each and every day be something special and I shall speak to you again soon